Kia ora koutou and welcome to Meadow in about three minutes. Prototype copy used. It has a solo mode. It's a game for one to four players. Playing time is medium and it's a moderately complex game. In Meadow, you are an explorer setting out from your house one day to find adventure and wonder. Where will you go and what will you see? And will you have the most interesting trip to talk about with your fellow explorers? The game ends after a number of full rounds. Advance the turn marker at the end of each round. The winner is the player with the most points at that time. Points are shown on each card and all cards you play count. Card management. Many cards have requirements to play them. Managing your hand of cards is important. Drafting. You get new cards by drafting from the main board. Set collection. Cards belong to sets, frequently multiple sets at the same time. Player turn. At the start of the game, select the sideboard that matches the number of players in your game, and add one of the square set icons randomly to each space on that board. Each player then gets a road tile, three scoring markers, and a starting card. This card is double-sided. You also get your action tiles. Your starting hand is your choice of one row of cards, plus one card from the north deck. The other three direction decks start and play. Each round you will play one of your action tiles and take one of the two possible options on it. The bottom actions are unique, and the top actions let you draft a card from the main board. We place our one tile here. This lets us pick the card one space away on that row and take it to hand. Replace the card immediately. Our opponent wants that new card but can't place where we are, so places their four on the other side. This lets them take a card four spaces away from their arrow. The wild card arrow lets you choose any number. You can then play a card to your meadow. This card has no requirements, so we place it down. Horizontal cards go on the top row and require a road. We can't play this one because we're missing a flower symbol in our meadow. These cards can also be upgraded with this different type of card. The flower symbol could have come from this card, which needs two grass in our meadow. We place it on one of the grass cards. This card needs a bug and a flower and can be placed on either of those cards. If you ever have a pair of adjacent cards that match one of the symbol pairs on the sideboard, you can place one of your scoring markers. The other type of action uses a space on the sideboard. In order, they let you take a card from the main board, gain two road tokens, draw three cards from a deck and pick one to keep, play two cards to your tableau, and finally, do any of the other four actions. When it is the halfway point of the game, remove all cards from the main board, swap the south cards in for the north cards, and refill the board accordingly. Continue playing until the final round. Why would you like this game? The core of Meadow is its set collection and building up interconnecting layers of cards so you can score points. If the idea of drafting and chaining together card combo sounds good to you, you'll have a good time. And there's a huge variety of cards to place, which means that each time you play, you'll have to focus on different things. Plus the cards have a lot of unique art. It's also a very low conflict game, and while you can block other players' actions, it's not the sort of game that leads to tension at the table. The mid-game refresh is good too. It allows Meadow to avoid the pitfall that happens in some games where all that remains to draft is the stuff no one wants. The best thing about this game is its warm theme and inviting art. It looks absolutely lovely. However, there are a lot of sets, and some decks only have one or two of those sets in them. This makes diving for cards incredibly unpredictable. And the decks in general, just that little bit too unpredictable for me. I also found myself wanting to focus on the core set collection mechanic, and I felt that the action tiles and limited selection mechanics hindered the game more than helping it. While Meadow is a fine game, I think if it was trimmed down, it would be an amazing small box game. For a more complex game with a meadow you draft cards from, try Everdell. And for a different type of drafting tableau builder, try It's a Wonderful World. Meadow, it's a little overgrown for me. Three Meadow Board Games does not accept payment from publishers. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. And if you enjoyed this video, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.